Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Stock Market Update. The DSX slipped back into the red zone today as it lost 67.55 points or 1.00% and settled at 6,698 points. Market turnover was BDT 6.16 billion, which is a decrease of 26.28% compared to the previous trading day. IFIC, BRAC and Pubali Bank from the banking sector, British American Tobacco and Olympic Industries from the food and the light sector, and Renata and Square Pharma from the pharmaceutical sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, all sectors lost value today. The NBFI sector posted the highest loss of 1.69% while the cement sector posted the second highest loss of 1.68%. Five general insurance companies, three IT companies and three banks were among the top 20 losers today. The Kaful Islam Insurance, People's Insurance and HR Textile registered the highest gain while IFIC Bank, NRB Commercial Bank and Amra Networks were the top losers. Investors exerted selling pressure on IFIC Bank's stock as the company may have failed to meet investors' expectations with its 5% stock dividend declaration. There is no disclosed price-sensitive information for the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Munno Fabrics, Sun Life Insurance and Uttara Bank increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. Investors may have engaged in heavy trading of Uttara Bank's shares to book gains from the previous day's price hike due to the company's encouraging earnings declaration the previous day. There is no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Today's top two news. Saudi Arabia's foreign minister has assured Bangladesh that it will ensure steady oil supply to Bangladesh. The minister also said that Saudi will take initiatives to help bring stability to the international oil market. In addition, Saudi companies are interested in investing in Bangladesh's energy sector in the upcoming days. As per a recent suggestion by Bangladesh's embassy in Moscow, Bangladesh may take up the option of government-to-government -government better trade or currency swap to continue bilateral trade with Russia amid the latest exclusion from the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication Payment System. Bangladesh can also continue trade in Chinese currency through Chinese banks. However, there is a risk of both hyperinflation and economic turmoil if the sanctions remain in place for a prolonged period. This, in turn, is likely to negatively impact bilateral trade between Bangladesh and Russia in the near term. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow LR Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.